Salutations and good morning everyone and welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today we are hopping in and we are going to be talking one of the brand new resources that just got added to the game and that is the pupa leather. So what are you going to need to get it? What are you going to need in order to resource gather it? And also how do you go ahead and actually make it? So all that's going to be covered in this video. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and also please don't forget to leave a comment down below. Before we go any further I also want to give a very special shout out to all of my top tier members. Edgar, Boo, Miss Dyer and Dee's Nerd Girl. Thank you so much much for being members of this channel and making it so I could keep on doing what I'm doing and also thank you to the rest of the channel members as well but let's hop in and let's show you guys where you can go and find yourself some of this pupae leather so the first place you're going to need to go is over in this canyon area inside of the backyard there is a new canyon area that has been added to the backyard inside of the end of the woods update that has all sorts of really really cool things in it like some jacks some clay some quartzite rocks pebbles, new bugs and and of course, our wonderful pupae friends. So these things are actually kind of difficult to find. Here's one right here. Um, they are scattered all around inside of this area. So there's different areas all throughout here that you can go and find them. But here's the trick about harvesting them. You will need a tier three ax in order to cut them up. So in order to make a tier three ax, you are gonna need to do a couple things. The first thing you're going to need is a workbench. The second thing you're gonna need to do is kill at least two termites. I would suggest killing two soldier termites, but killing two termites so you can get some termite chompers, termite parts, and bug goop. You do get the bug goop from killing termites, so that's kind of just easy peasy, make this guy up. But this is how you make the tier three ax. It is the coolest looking ax that they have added to the game by far. It's probably also the coolest looking weapon that they have put in the game in my opinion but it looks really cool and this is exactly how you're going to be able to harvest all of the new resources that are in the game including the burr weeds that you were able to resource gather before but now actually have a purpose of you doing so so get yourself a tier 3 axe then what you're going to do is you're going to go through and cut up your pupa parts so you cut it up and guess what yes you only get one one is all you get for each of these. So be on the lookout for these things constantly while you were walking around in this new area because you are going to need a lot of them. What are you going to need them for? Well, after you make them into pupa leather, which we'll talk about that now, after you go and research them, you will be able to unlock the pupa leather resource. So you get the dried pupa hides and make pupa leather. Okay, this leather is how you make the tier three armor sets for roly poly and the termite armor set or termite armor piece. It's just a chest piece. But you go ahead and make these armors, okay? Thinking about it, guys, let's take a stop and think about why I'm going to tell you guys to gather up a ton of it, because that's exactly what I'm telling you to do. Go and get a ton of this, okay? Because one, it costs five to make one hide, and two, because if the roly-poly set and the termite set are now requiring this tier three um, fabric part because you have bug rubber then you have berry leather and now you have pupa leather okay if the tier 3 armor is going to require this that only bodes to show that the next set of armor is also going to require this so anything that's going to be coming for new armor in the future is most likely going to only be using pupa leather it will no longer use berry hide like all of the tier 2 armor sets do so tier 3 armor sets will start to use this pupa hide instead so it's a very very smart thing for you guys to go out and start resource gathering as much of this as possible now you guys may be saying well sim what the heck there was only one that was around you is there a better place to get it and i'm gonna say yes yes there is and i'll show you now so now that you're over here inside of the new areas that are around inside of the end of the wood update you guys will notice that when you run underneath the porch of the shed that you will find these new little things that look like nails sticking out of the bottom of the porch those are actually pupa and you can build up there and resource gather them right from there instead of running around on the ground to get them the only problem is is you actually need to build up in order to get to these guys so it's a little bit more difficult for you to gather up all of the pupa that you need because you just need to build a little bit of an area, but these do respawn. I'm assuming the respawn rate is going to be the same as the charcoal pieces, which is eight in-game days, um, but I just have not played enough in-game days to see how long it takes them to respawn. But go ahead and gather these up because you're going to need a lot of them. And when I say a lot of them, I mean a lot. The roly-poly armor itself, the helmet needs five and the chest piece needs seven. So that's 12 pieces alone. If you were to do out the math, if you were to get five at the workbench to do out the math, that's 60 pieces of pupa hide in order to make one roly-poly set, right? Now, 
I know what all of you out there who are maximizers in this game and you guys are all grounded pros and you're here getting the best tips in the world. So the, um, the grounded pros among you may be saying, well, hold on a second, Sim, let's think. If I know that you can go through and make berry leather with three berry chunks at the workbench, the same way it takes five pupa hide to make one leather, right? But I know I can go over to a drying rack and use one berry chunk in order to make a berry leather, right? Will it work the same for the pupa leather? Well, let me tell you guys a little something. It absolutely does. So all you do is grab your pupa hide, press the hang button to be able to hang up the three pieces of pupa hide on there. And next thing you know, you are now making yourself some awesome pupa uh, leather. So, and it only takes one per instead of taking five per. This time, uh, constraint right here is going to be a little bit of a pain in the neck because this does take more time than just going through and making them but at the end of the day if you go around and gather six to pupa pieces and then you use the drying racks to make them as you're doing all of your adventuring this is going to be way more cost effective in the long run not in the short run because this obviously takes a while in order for them to process all the way through but in the in the long run this will save you a ton of time on all of the armor sets that you're going to be having to make in the future so think about it. If you're going to need to use these for all of the armor sets in the future and possibly weapons as well, would it not make sense to get a lot of these? So that's why I'm saying don't even bother with making them just off of um, off of the workbench. Go through. It does not cost that much to make a jerky rack. It costs some bombardier beetles and some crude rope, guys. I mean, it's five bombardier parts and six crude rope in order to make some jerky racks, and then you can double your production. Get a third one down. Triple your production. Heck, you could come right here, press the copy button, put down another one, and make even more, because now they've added a copy button to the game, which is really, really cool as well. So this is going to be a way more cost-effective way in order for you guys to get this. A way more cost-effective time crunch for you guys to be able to go through get these resources and get them made and also give you guys the ability to make the tier 3 armor sets that are coming to the game or that are already in the game now just as a reminder guys the roly-poly gear did get an update so you're gonna need lint rope in order to make that as well and there's gonna be another video on that very very soon going through how to get lint rope and how to make it so make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel please don't forget to hit that like button also please do not forget to leave me a comment down below of any other tips and tricks videos on any of the other new resources that have gotten added to the game because I would love to show them to you guys and I would love to make those videos. So thank you guys all so much and as always I'll see all of you guys in the next one.